Hi, I'm Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and welcome to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing. It's one of my wishlist plants that I actually put in my wishlist video and also an unknown plant. So the ID itself, um, they had told me what they thought it was, but by looking at the picture, I don't know if it's exactly that. So I would rather just kind of just call it unknown. So let's get into this. So this is, and no surprise, an Indonesian seller. I actually <laughs> do like to try different ones because I like being this kind of guinea pig and trying kind of different international sellers. So I don't mind it at all. So if you ever have one that you've been curious about that you would like me to try, uh, maybe sometime in the spring when I can possibly do that. Right now, I'm gonna try to be on a no buy after this. I know I have an orchid show I'm going to, but other than that, I really don't want to be buying anything. I've actually been so good about it because I've seen some plants that I'm like, whoa, those are awesome. Those are really cool. Those are unique anthuriums. But I've just been like, well, eh, I have a lot of those. So I'm good right now. So I'm kind of glad I'm kind of getting to this point where I'm feeling relatively just cool with what I have. <laughs> So there's just two plants in this box. This is actually the first time I've ever gotten these, uh, this US Customs Border tape on it, which was interesting because I don't know if they just ran out of their normal tape, but I've just never had it on an import box and I've imported a lot of plants. <laughs> so the seller himself is on Instagram. I'm gonna pull up his page now so we can look at it together. So this particular seller, his name is Ka underscore Flora underscore. So if you go to his page, it's really nice. He says right in the description, he has phytosanitary certificates, which we all want when shipping international plants. This particular seller does ship DHL, which is awesome because that's the only way I'll accept international orders. Also, just a side note here, if you are looking to get a really big plant imported, sometimes they won't ship DHL because it's just too expensive. So you're kind of just taking a risk there. It's probably usually gonna be EMS shipping. So as we look down his Instagram, he has a lot of cool things. He has Anthurium macrolobium, which is actually a wishless plant of mine. May or may not be in this box. <laughs> I don't know why I pulled that one up. I just instinctively went to it. I feel like I'm gonna cut that segment out. But this plant, this anthurium looks really cool. I love this, the top part of this anthurium here. That's neat. Lots of anthuriums, got philodendrons, some of our lovely variegated bilitae. Yeah, just some really neat things. So I thought I'd try them out. I'm gonna get to this box. I've actually lost my handy box opener, so I'm using one of my kitchen knives, and I don't feel proud about it because I always get a lot of tape stuck to these, and it's really hard to clean them. So this box feels a bit squishy. I don't know if that's because of um, moisture, because it's so taped up that I wouldn't assume it is, or if it's really the way they made this box, a lot of the times they are really makeshift. So I'm just gonna cut because I don't know what exactly I'm cutting into. Oh, this is cute. Okay. That's because this is not a real box. <laughs> so right away where I've opened it, you can tell that there's styrofoam and then some tin foil. So it looks just completely makeshift, which is fine. As long as it arrives, okay. I have no problem with you creating your own kind of boxes. In a way, this could be better in the winter months, maybe providing more protection. I did ask this particular seller to include a heat pack. A lot of the times when you import plants, they don't have heat packs, but this particular seller did. I'm making a hot mess. Cool, buddy. All right. So here is my wishless plant, or not. Okay, so the packaging is just mislabeled. <laughs> this one says Anthurium Magnificum, but I'm pretty sure it's my Macrolobium. Yeah. 
Yes, it is. Wow, she's really stunning. I really, really like the look of this plant. The edges are what drew me to her. And that was a really awesome. Big. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna put her down. Go to the next one. And I'm gonna give you, I'm pretty much gonna clean these up and pot them and I'm gonna give you a much better shot of how they look because it's hard to fully appreciate them when they're bunched up. And there's always like a kind of a smell. I don't know if it's like from them being outside or from shipping, but I don't like it. It's strong. It kind of makes me feel like I'm choking. So if I don't seem too thrilled sometimes when I own unopen like unbox import plants, it's because I'm trying not to just choke to death. So this one. So based on this is pretty. So based on his comment thread on this Instagram, they came to a conclusion it was a Magnificum Warquianum hybrid. I don't think it's that. I don't think it has Warquianum in it at all. It actually looks more like a Magnificum Verde. Really pretty. Kind of sucks this leaf was folded because it has a line going through it now and I don't think that can be fixed. But we'll see. Really pretty though. Look how cute. So this was one when I saw it in the picture and I'll put up the picture somewhere here. I instantly was drawn to it. Really, really like this plant. Gosh, I keep staring at the macrolivium as it's laying here. And I don't know, it just has, love all of this detail in the plant. That's just gonna look so pretty when she's cleaned up. Okay, and then he actually sent me one for free, which was really nice. Not one that I was expecting. He actually said a uh, Clarinervia. But I'm kind of glad it's not. And I'm glad it's what this is because I don't have something like this. So here's my free plant and it's fairly large. Like it's probably about six inches. This is big. I'm hecka surprised that he sent me this plant. Thank you so much. <laughs> I did not expect this at all. I really like this plant though. Just take a look at this. Just the velvety sheen to this one. What the freaking heck? This was free. I'm feeling hecka lucky right now. Like what's going on here? I don't really know. Like, wow. It's... I feel like these are even like similar in size, which is crazy. Let me just show you the velvetiness on this one. So this leaf is lighter than the other ones. Really beautiful. But the velvetiness on this darker leaf is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm now really excited to get these cleaned up. And I cannot wait to just show you kind of like the final and finished results of these plants. I absolutely am freaking happy. And thank you so much for the sending that plant. They all came in incredible condition. Just to mention, it doesn't look like there's an actual heat pack, but the way he packed it was more thermal because of the styrofoam and the foil wrapping. And honestly, I found DHL, it still comes in fine as long as you don't leave it outside when it arrives. <laughs> The shipping's just so quick with DHL that I feel like the worry isn't there as much. Like there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of these three plants. Like there's no coal damage. So I've actually wondered 
oh, maybe I'll get to make a video on cold damage sometime. But honestly, I just haven't had it happen. And I think as long as you kind of just do some sort of smart shipping that you don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna go work on the plants and I'll be right back. Super stoked about this. And yeah. <laughs> So to start off this particular unknown hybrid, its root system was okay. Now I say that just because the coloration looked a little bit dull. It had some damage from the sphagnum being overly moist so some of it came off, but for the most part, pretty good. So there's a little leaf damage, but nothing major. So it doesn't look like anything's in danger here. <laughs> It looks pretty fantastic, and I really, really like the velvetiness of this one. It has a really nice narrow shape, which I like. And then this leaf here, he's the one that suffered the most, but he hasn't hardened off yet. So that is to be expected when leaves have not. But in all, I think he looks pretty good. So in all, the free plant really suffered the most. It had virtually zero roots when I had unwrapped it. So again, that is a result of the sphagnum just being too moist. But it is a free plant, so who am I to complain? <laughs> so I have it really just being held in there by this bamboo stick. I chose just to still put it in soil instead of sphagnum moss because I still had luck rooting in soil so hopefully that's okay. I may change my mind later but I really just wanted to get it potted up. And as you can see my mix is really airy so hopefully it just has no trouble forming new chunky roots in that mix. It has three really pretty leaves. This middle one is a little more sickly so that Maybe the one that the plant decides to kill. <laughs> but the other two look pretty okay. It has this interesting like iridescence to it. We can really kind of see the cells in there. It's very interesting. It almost kind of reminds me, it's like a bit alligator-like. And I really like it. So I'm a person that's pretty particular lately about the plants she gets in her collection. <laughs> so... I'm impressed with this one. It's one I would definitely prefer to keep, so I hope it lives. I really, really like it. And I'm so impressed to actually get this plant in general as one that was free. It's picturesque, I absolutely love it. So this Macrolabium is in fantastic shape. The leaves look phenomenal. Doesn't seem to be anything really wrong with them. They do have a, a scale issue. But that isn't surprising with import plants. I've cleaned a bunch of them off. Still have to clean more, but let me just kind of show you. Just in the crevices there. So I usually just spray them with diluted hydrogen peroxide and then kind of just clean them off with a cotton swab. But it's such a massive specimen. I'm thoroughly impressed with that. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. I just love these toothy lobes here. So I don't have a lot of them that are too like leafy. I mean, they are all foliage plants, obviously, but this is like that more typical leafy look for me. And I really enjoy this one, especially with such a unique feature like this. Oh, I do want to mention the price of these plants. So this large one here was 150 and the one I did pay for was 90 And then I also got a free one. So I think that's pretty awesome. And then shipping is just going to vary by where you live. But I absolutely love this. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this particular unboxing and these beautiful, beautiful plants. I am so 
freaking happy with them right now. If so, if you like this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more content. And thank you so much for watching. I would really appreciate any feedback down below and I hope you have a wonderful week. So I just want to give a little update here. So these are the roots on my unknown hybrid that you can see that I thought were pretty sickly. Not long after this, they did rot off. So <laughs> it's not doing that great. It actually lost all of its leaves and there's not a lot of stems. So I don't know how much hope I have for this one, but I am trying to root it. So oddly enough, my free one, which was in worse shape in terms of roots in the beginning, um, it has no roots right now, but it does have a node coming out. It only has one leaf left and it is going to lose that leaf, but I actually have more hope for this free plant than I do my other plant. So that's really just the one disappointing thing of this. The moss was really just too wet during shipping and it just caused too much rot. And these stems are not big enough for you to have a lot of hope for them to carry on and live. So hopefully they do live and I will definitely give an update on them in the future.